My name is Apostle Israel from the Holy Nation Movement International and uh, as you can see around me this is our uh, Dimba garden and uh, here uh, we are cultivating maize as you can see and uh, we are doing we started with irrigation farming and um, uh, in 2023 around November and now you can see that it is ripe if you can see that it is ripe and uh, of good quality and within two to three weeks we'll be harvesting it we have in fact started uh, using it as a raw uh, maize that we can cook uh, we can roast and eat so right now we cannot be talking about hunger for us now the holy nation we are doing this because we are in seven years of golden bumper harvest from 2023 to 2030 in which God said that we are going to move uh, in the dimension in which God is going to bring a spiritual uh, harvest. That means um, winning more souls to Christ into the kingdom. But also God says that we are going to have enough for ourselves in terms of, in terms of consumption. So for example, in the past, we used to struggle a lot in feeding our pastors and also supporting the people that we find in different places uh, for example, the orphans, when we go to uh, preach the gospel, we find the elderly, the widows, and so many people that uh, do struggle. And sometimes you give them the word of God. It's important, but now you find that they are so poor, they are so destitute, maybe they are hungry, and then we have the arm in which we focus on charity. And it's so difficult to go about asking people to help you, to give you food, or to give you money so that you can support them as well. So using this it's a method that it will be easy for us also not just to give people the spiritual nourishment that they need but also the physical nourishment that we can uh, we can give them as well so um another thing is to use this this uh, this as an income generating activity so that we can finance the uh the preaching of the gospel the evangelization because you know for us to go in villages to go in different places we need resources and then when we are cultivating you know uh, these crops we are going to be able to generate resources that will enable us to go in various parts of the world to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ and of the kingdom of heaven so that's the thing so from 2024 to 2025 season we are starting large-scale commercial farming which means we are going now to cultivate in hectare so for example we want we have planned for uh, sometimes to reach up to 200 hectares of land that we're just cultivating Irish potatoes. And then we are also cultivating maybe uh, uh, 300, uh, you know, hectares of land that we are cultivating uh, uh, soya. And then maybe beans as well as um, maize and the uh, sweet potatoes, just to make sure that the resources that are gotten from the sales from the, such cash crops, we are able to finance the ministry and the, its programs. But also we are building like Holy Nation uh, Mega Church. We are also building also at the headquarters. We are building the minister's villas and so many other programs, development programs for the ministry. And this commercial farming is going to help us not just to have food for ourselves but also generate income that will support us to uh, implement the programs and the vision that we have in the Holy Nation but also as a leader myself as the general overseer of the Holy Nation Movement International I want the organization to be sustainable the minister to stand on its own it should not uh, move based on charity but it should be able to do its programs without external support it should be self-sustaining and that's why we are going into these seven years of golden bumper harvest but also in investing in agriculture but we are not just talking about crop husbandry but also we are venturing into animal husbandry we want to rear uh, chickens we want to have uh, pigs we want to have cattle and we want also to have uh, urban farming in which we are going to do like tomatoes like horticulture farming so that that will bring us not just food but also resources for us to be able to go out and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. We want to be, we don't want to be a begging ministry at all, but we don't want also this ministry to base on uh, the capacity of leaders to generate their own resources, but we want the ministry on its own to generate resources for, for its own programs, 
whether leaders there will be leadership change or the leaders demise and so on and so forth we want it to be self sustaining it can go for decades if the lord do not come as as soon as possible it can go for decades it can stand on its own and it can be one of the best organizations spiritual organizations in the world and that's our vision other we thank god for pastors we have had like pastor in Timoni, we have had uh, uh, Minister Elijah Israel. We have had Apostolita. We have had other pastors that have supported and worked together to see these results we are seeing right now. So I'm so happy that now we can be talking about uh, seeing this, this uh, maze reaching this level. And we can safely say that we cannot say that Holy Nation will be struggling with issues to do with uh, uh, food security will be okay. We no struggle with the uh, lacking resources. We are okay. So we thank God for everything. Otherwise, I thank you for uh, watching and listening to what we were saying. God bless you.